they found a hidden plane in the swamps, you won't believe what happened next. He could feel his heart racing as he thought back to the warnings. Back in his mind, he was thinking about all of the things that crawled around this jungle. Suddenly they spotted something that was far but they could see the reflection shining through the tree line. When he looked inside the mysterious discovery, he immediately wanted to head to dry land. When he first caught the wind of it, he soon decided that he would do anything and everything in his power to see the bizarre discovery. Being an archaeologist, he traveled to many different countries in search of his treasures. Fred Hagen was not alone he was accompanied by his partner David Talishet. They both enjoyed looking for adventure and buried treasure in the dark. This led them to Papua New Guinea. Soon they planned to look through the endless miles of swampland. The local people called it the Swamp Ghost and they needed to find it why. As soon as they noticed the metal glimmer in the forest, the swamp quickly changed its tone. It had been abandoned and forgotten for decades. It was obscured by the sky and had a peculiar shape. They needed to push forward to make sure it was what they thought it was. Half of the ship was submerged in water, and the other half was covered in dense jungle vines. The plane was just as they had anticipated. In order to obtain the necessary equipment, they got in touch with the locals. But they should have looked at the warning signs before they sittered it. There was a reason Fred and his colleague were receiving the warning. People flocked to this lush marshland from all around the world to experience the mystery that had been haunting it for years. However, a lot of people had gone in search of the swamp ghost but never returned. Others were affected by malaria and went insane. The villagers protected themselves by avoiding the region and worshipping the area as sacred land. However, the locals knew all the eerie blackened hulls of destroyed debris from hundreds of crashed planes that were camouflaged in the woods and lowland jungles and were steeped in horrifying history. Villagers claim that shapes still appear in the wetlands today, rising up like mummies in a horror movie. But Fred and David didn't care. Where others saw risk, they saw adventure. Thus, as soon as all of their equipment was prepared, Fred and David led their squad into the Papua New Guinea bush to begin their mission. Little did they know they were about to encounter much more than a crashed plane. As they moved closer to the mysterious aircraft, their energy was completely devastated. But, their desire to investigate something that had lain unexplored for a long time motivated them. Fred stopped to get a drink of water, that's when he saw something move in the water from the corner of his eye. He froze and slowly looked toward the movement. His thoughts were racing with tales of crocodiles and enormous anacondas that prowled these areas of the jungle. Nothing was visible when he turned his head, but it was enough to have him shouting at his team to move forward to the dry land ahead. Suddenly, their hearts raced. As the sun's reflection was so strong, it seemed to be calling their name from a distance, enticing them to come over. Hours passed before they arrived at the location as they walked over the harsh terrain of the dense jungle. Soon, the group fell silent as everyone stood in amazement at what they had just witnessed. However, no one knew the story behind this plane. From its structure, they could tell it was a World War II plane. This wasn't a surprise because Papua New Guinea was a significant battleground at the time. Fred and David predicted a strong sense of history to be present, but they never saw this coming. It turned out that the massive World War II aircraft that the swamp had been hiding for so long was still completely intact and in amazing condition. Due to its location in the middle of a dense jungle and the fact that locals thought it was haunted, they had given it the name Swamp Ghost. The plane's location was probably the major reason why it was largely unexplored. Additionally, it was nearly impossible to remove the plane from the site for future investigations due to the dense swamplands. Nevertheless, Fred and David continued to look for a means to save and analyze the plane. As a World War II veteran, David had a great deal of expertise working with all kinds of aircraft. 
he even has a business of collecting and restoring military aircraft. It was his main reason for coming on this mission. Amazing planes in his collection included a P-40 Tomahawk and many other antique planes as well. But this discovery would surpass them all. It was a World War II B-17E flying fortress. However, in the typical swamp ghost form, they encountered obstacles, and it took them decades to do the extraordinarily challenging task. Even though Fred and David Salvage effort was ultimately completed in 2006, it took them an additional four years to get approval to bring the plane back to American soil. These are only a few instances in which the jungles have divulged their secrets. Over 200 American and Australian battle planes are still stuck in the humid jungles, waiting to be rescued and brought back home.